Statics 19. Exercise and problems on just Coulomb's law and electric field study. Based on that, there's an assignment. And uh, I'll be doing from the last and few questions because some more than 80, 90 questions you've got there, multiple choice. So doing each and every question here is not possible and meaningless. That's for you to work and ask the doubts. But to get you into the mood of it and to cover a few good problems, good types, I'll be discussing directly a few questions. Okay. All right. So in fact, I can take the questions at random, but let me see. Uh, because uh, questions at the a later part of the assignment will be will be better. Hmm? Okay, let me see. As I told you, I'll be coming from you can open your assignment there. Uh, you do not have to look at this. Uh, that's the reason exactly I've sent you the assignment in advance. But let me go to the uh, last questions basically. Which is the last one? Tell me. And more further. 97, right. Mm, this. Let me see. Ah. 98. But 98 is uh, my mistake. It's a, it is common potential. We can do it later after doing potential. Go for 97. Okay. 97. Potential we did not discuss, so I'll just postpone the 98 one for a later uh, discussion. Uh, 97. Rishita, can you read the question either from the screen here or from the assignment you already have with you? Let me see if I can make it a little of oh, just going that side. Mm. Yes, ninety seven. All right. Yeah, this one. Two charges, each equal to Q, are kept at X equals minus N plus C on the X axis. Hmm? So the first stage is the picturing of the question, right? X equals zero here. Huh? Uh, two charges, each equal to Q. Both are Q only. Huh? But remember, this is already done in the class. A particle of mass m and charge q if q not equals q by 2 is placed at the origin. Here we have q by 2, which you call less q naught. If the charge q is given a small displacement y less than less than a long y axis, huh? the net force acting the particle is proportional to. Actually, this you should be able to tell without even doing. Hmm? Can you tell me? Are you listening to me, children? Hello? Rishita. Yes, sir. This is yes, sir. Um, look, this was already done. So, plus Q. I've talked about this while discussing equilibrium. I don't know how much you remember. But let me say this went by Y. Force here will be this way due to this. This way due to this. This charge is what? Q naught, the Q by 2. Okay. So if this distance is A and this distance is A, this is Y, this distance is root of A square plus Y square under root. Root. Okay. Mm, two charges each equal to plus Q and Q. And the charge Q is given a small displacement, Y less than less than A. The net force acting in the particle is proportional to. Uh, 
actually if you really understood this in the physical terms you won't worry just to put the answer without doing uh, but uh, you forgot everything i think okay let me see so how will i do this course now okay you, you want me to do everything hello look so this force will be how much k into q into q by 2 into this square that is a square plus y square this also is the same thing k into q into q by 2 by root of a square plus y square whole square means this one right so some of these two will be like this so these two components will cancel these components will cancel these components will cancel these components add up all right so you want me to do the whole thing hmm? have you understood what to do so if I say this angle is theta, if this angle is theta, this also will be theta. So these two angles are going to be thetas. So you get 2k q into q by 2 a square plus y square cos theta. Cos theta will be what? A by root of a square plus y square this is the force all right so this will be two goes okay q square a by a square plus y square to the power 3 by 2 will be the force so when y is less than less than a cos theta is this actually it should not be y is less than less than a it should be a is less than less than y hmm? there's a wrong statement if y is less than less than a the force will be constant that's not correct here this length should be no y should be small displacement right Small displacement y is less than less than a is correct only just did we go wrong anywhere you check uh, this is theta that will be theta so I get using your microphone over oh, this I don't know so sine theta or cos theta will get here Hmm? Children, I want you to speak. Yes, sir. Actually, I should be giving you a clue and you should be continuing, you know. But if that's the case, this kind of assignments cannot be done. Once I started here, you should finish it. Look, it is like this. It is like this. So we said this angle is theta. Okay. This angle with theta, right? This is theta, I told no. So it won't be. It should be sine theta. Let us see. This will be theta. Okay. Huh? So this will be theta. All right. So if this is theta cos components will cancel out sine components will add up so this will be y okay do you follow y by this yes sir no. so 
if y is less than less than a you will ignore this one so force will be proportional to y and it's going away so no minus y it is only y it won't come back it will be unstable equilibrium the way we discussed it so force is proportional to y here for small displacements is it all right yes sir i know i'm not in a hurry i wanted to get into the mood for solving questions So this angle was not theta, it was 90 minus theta. So it is proposed sine theta y by this. This is ignored, this is made zero. So force is proportional to y and plus because it's not a restoring force, it is the force which is actually making it go further away. All right. Hmm. You speak, children. See, uh, unless you get to a culture of doing trying questions on your own, uh, even if I do ten thousand questions with you, that won't work. So, have you really followed the whole question? Ninety-seven. Yes, sir. Others, if you're not speaking, I will be getting stuck. Yes, sir. Anshuman, what happened? You joined late. But the same thing could have been different if Two charges of equal to Q. Chapter. The answer is given wrong. Actually, minus y. That's not correct. If these two are minus charges, then that would be proportional to minus y. Here, both are given plus Q only, right? And even this is given as Q naught is Q by two. So it should be proportional to not minus y. Have you understood? Suppose if these two are minus minus here, or that was minus then the force would have been attractive huh? and in that case it will, it will be proportional to minus y. I am talking to myself, You're not, no, no, no zero response from you people. Huh? Yes sir, got it. I will go for the next question. 96, come on. Ninety-six. This is a question we did not exactly the H C Verma question basically. A wooden block performs HGM on frictionless surface with a frequency new not. The block carries a charge plus Q on its surface. If our uniform field E is switched on as shown, then the SHM of the block will be. Tell me. Actually, now the problem comes. The what you did in first year will actually be uh, exposing you. Hmm? For this, what you need to understand is the meaning of simple harmonic motion, basically. Anything? So, since the electric field is toward, <coughs> is going towards the wall, so mm. <coughs> then, um, Look, first of all, we should have known this one. Hmm. 
look if I have a block like this and a spring mass system. Do you know that what the time period of such a system? If there's no friction here, smooth. Huh? If I pull it or push it by X and release, the restoring force will be only F equals minus KX. That is MA equals minus KX. A equals minus K by M into X. So omega square equals K by M. So time period equals 2 pi root M by K equals T because omega is 2 pi by T. First, you need to understand this. The beginning. You know, if I pulled it by X, for example, and release it, the restoring force will be spring force KX towards the mean position. Here, X equals 0 is the mean position. And about this mean position, it makes simple harmonic motion. This is the basic definition of simple harmonic motion. But now, an additional force EQ is acting. Constant EQ force is acting. Hmm? Tell me. A constant EQ force is acting here. So how does it make a difference? So, hmm. my doubt is since it is acting towards the spring, how will it create a spring action, sir? Uh, there will be a spring force. Now, you need to understand if this is EQ. Look, if in this direction it is EQ like this. Huh? It will be compressing it, so Kx will act like this. Okay? So, yes, uh, there will be a net force towards, um, of course, the net force will be simply F net equals now Eq minus Kx or Kx minus Eq, depending on which direction you would like to write, for example. Equals, you can write, for example, if you Eq minus Kx, you can write. Now, there's a constant term here. Nothing would happen. There will be a place where these two will be equal. That will be equilibrium position. I told you already, your, your understanding of simple harmonic motion is important here. For this, you're adding yes, a constant sir. because nothing is going to happen to the time period. But only what? Only the equilibrium position changes. So time period remains the same, 2 pi root m by k, or frequency will be 1 by 2 pi root of k by n. So look at the answer, but I, depending on your response, I'll talk more. Can you once again explain the SHM here, sir? SHM already have given it there, no? Uh, huh? no, no, no. I've uh, just given what is required, Amma, but more SHM means you need to go into more details. Hmm? SHM is one where restoring force is proportional to X. So the direct relation is that MA equals minus KX. But even if I add a constant force all the time to that equation, that still will be having the same uh, differential equation written for that. Only with the net force becoming zero, shifting to not x equals zero, but x equals something. So around that point, once again, you've got simple harmonic motion. Hmm? Okay, sir. We'll see. <coughs> Otherwise, I need to go into more of more of that details right now. Huh? All right, do that.
I told you already now the second year means a lot of first year keeps coming. You will see. So x equals 0, the net force was 0 here. There will be one x where e q by k. If you make it 0, you will get x equals e q by k you get. At this point, the net force becomes 0. That's what you mean by the equilibrium position. So about that, once again, it is proportional to x only. So that's what you mean by the time period not changing, but a huh? lot of mass is there. But that's what you mean by saying that the time period does not change, but the equilibrium position changes. That will be taking e q by k. So equilibrium position from there, x, all that should be there actually. Right now, just take it for granted. We'll see. Huh? Can I continue? I have to. Tell me. Yes, sir. Ninety-five. Hmm. These are all better questions anyway. A tiny spherical oil drop carrying a net charge Q is balanced in steel layer with a vertical uniform electric field strength so much. When the field is switched off, the drop is observed to fall with the terminal velocity of so much. Uh -huh. So the charge of the charge Q is dash. This is actually Millikan's oil drop experiment idea. Uh, but let me tell you without all that. A tiny spherical drop carrying a net charge is balanced in steel air with a vertical uniform electric field of strength so much. Here, viscosity of air is also given, uh, but uh, force of buoyancy, now probably we need to ignore. Let us see. A tiny spherical oil drop we have an oil drop here. Huh? It has got a charge Q. Right. So its weight is mg. When E is applied, is balanced in steel air with the vertical uniform electric field of strength so much. So E must have been applied like this. Okay. EQ force will act like that because of the electric field. And there is a force of buoyancy. So it is balanced enough. What is what does it mean? EQ plus force of buoyancy is equal to weight. The first situation. When this field is switched off, the drop is observed to fall with the terminal velocity of so much. I don't know what kind of ideas you had. This is balanced enough. Once the EQ is gone, it is coming down mg minus b equals ma in the beginning but soon friction acts soon friction acts friction develops friction will be proportional to velocity this is what you mean by the stokes law that is 6 pi a eta v huh? terminal velocity means this net, net force will be coming zero 6 by a eta v equals 0. So there, eq equals mg minus b. Look, from there, I'll get eq equals mg minus b. From here, mg minus b equals what? 6 by a eta v. So you get eq equals. 6 pi a eta v. So what all you want you've got, you'll put those values and do it. Density of oil, okay, we don't have the radius of the drop, right? So for radius of drop, we need to use this one. It's a good question, but I don't know how much you follow, I don't know really. Huh? 
but you are free to ask. This once again that the viscosity idea from first year. So it's a, it will be like that. You cannot just uh, uh, remove the the first year topics like mechanics, for one uh, this one uh, viscosity, all these things. It's not over it because what are given you see. Q e equals six pi e eta v all that v is there. Huh? This velocity is there, huh? and viscosity of air is there. Velocity is there, viscosity of air is there, e is there. So e is there. Q we can calculate, but a drops radius is not there. Drops radius come from here. How? E Q equals mg minus b four by three pi. A Q rho rho of the oil m g minus force of buoyancy four by three pi A Q rho of air. So from here you should be getting became a little m g. Just a minute. Uh, spher tiny spherical oil drop carrying an arch is balanced and steady. Uh, this one the field is switched off. The drop is of the to follow the terminal velocity so much. Everything is there. V is there, eta is there, EQ is there. Only this A is not there. So here in the beginning, EQ is mg minus B. But Q is not there in that. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, the terminal velocity is not there, it will be suspended. So, mg minus b minus 6 pi eta v equals 0, e q equals mg. Uh, yeah, I'll get a from here. No? g minus b if I write here itself. Yeah, I made these two equal actually, but I'm left with this a. So, I should use this one. Signal. So I should use this one, 6 pi a eta v if I use, I'll get a from here. So that's what you need to do. It's a little lengthier question, but you are free to ask. Hmm? Understood, sir. Hmm. At least write the steps, you can check it later. You know, if you must have done something. If I'm when I'm talking about it, you should be able to recall, no? Huh? I've applied Newton's law, I've applied Stokes law, I've, I've applied the uh, uh, force equals EQ so much. You understand in this I've got everything other than A, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, just write down these steps. We'll continue. Next question is 94. 94. Let me see on my back. Meanwhile, you just see whether you understood the idea or not. You just tell me. Yes, sir. 94. Okay. That's a big uh, picture you have, and it's not so difficult. Ninety four. Same. What is the next one? Right. Ninety four. Six child size of equal magnitude. Three positive and three negative are to be placed. P Q R S T U corners per regular hexagon. Such that feet is center is double that of what it would have been if only one positive charge is placed at R. Uh, Identify the suitable arrangement. Tell me, this is 
not a bad thing come on hmm the order is p q r s t u you followed the question or not tell me yes sir uh, so how shall we go about it you know the distances are going to be equal from the center yes, sir. some part of our r if you said uh so that the field the center is double that of what it will have been if only one positive charge is placed at r so that will be how much e due to the charge at r will be simply k q by r square so our net field whatever we wanted is this how much to k q by r square we want which means which means what if this is plus q for example uh, if it is plus q it would be like this is it so we are left with two more plus q's and three minus q's how should i arrange them can you guess <coughs> not with minus q also you can start that's not a big deal you need to check hmm So they both are plus q, so one is plus q and one is minus q. Tell me. There are six charges. You tell me how did I put? You mean to say let it be plus q like this, plus q like they'll cancel out, huh? There'll be some minus q like this, minus q like they'll cancel out. And if it is minus q, it will be towards that. Tell me. Yes, sir. So, which is the order? Check. Third one. Third one, right? So, can I go to the next question? Come on, children, pick. This is what you are looking for. Right, I am doing. Yes, sir. Um. Right now. Ninety-three. Three equal charges. Q plus Q plus Q are placed at the vertices of the right angle triangle. I saw this list. Right. As shown in the figure, the net electrostatic energy of configuration is zero if Q is equal to. So how should we write this? Actually, is so we have not taught that. If you know something, I can uh, tell you that it is simply potential energy is k q and q two by r. Like if you remember minus g one m two by r, we can do that. This is come once again from potential energy. Okay, leave it actually. Or if I do, you'll follow it. Potential formula for any two charges is if I have plus q one. Plus Q two like that, U equals K into plus Q one plus Q two by R. Now for every pair of charges you write the potential and add up, that will give you the potential energy. Make it zero. This is here. This is here. This is root two A. So if I write the total potential energy system, it is like this. Uh, totals of the system will be K into Q Q by A. K Q square by A plus K Q into Q by A plus K into Q Q by root two A. This is taken here. This is taken here. This is taken here. So make it zero. You'll get whatever you want. So this is a formula for. Potential energy of two point charges in a system. For every pair of these charges, you'll write the same formula. But while writing potential, you take the signs. If it is minus somewhere, you'll put minus also. 
So what do you get from here? K goes, huh? isn't it so? So one A goes, so what do I get? One Q goes, all right? So Q plus, Q plus, Q plus, Two by root two is equal to zero. Huh? Tell me. So q equals minus q into one plus one by root two. So we wanted for q. So minus q by one plus one by root two. We have the answer. Check it. Because this will come back in potential energy again in more details we'll discuss in the next lesson but if you use a formula and be happy with that it's still okay did i write my points correct k into q squared by a k into q q by a k into q into q by root 2a yes so do you have the answer there Why don't you speak to them? Hmm? Why don't you speak? So B. So so you multiplied with something? What? So I multiplied with uh, root, multiplied and divided with root two. Okay, then answer is there. Yes, oh. sir. B. Oh. This is B. But what is that I have done? Simply use the potential energy formula for two charges, and the total potential energy we added remained zero. Okay. I'm going to the next question, children. Hmm. Come on. Okay, sir. Oh, this also just lay potential somehow it came potential things yeah 91 then come on ninety one one of you read please So shall I? Mm. An electron of mass Me initially at rest moves through a certain distance in a uniform electric field in time T1. Just wait. Huh? Electron yes. of mass Me initially at rest moves through a certain distance in a uniform electric field in a time T1. Okay. This is some direction of E, for example. So if an electron is at rest initially, how will it move among? For example, if I have the electron like this, in this point, it moves like this, isn't it? It initially at rest, so force acts this way on the electron because E is the direction of force on positive charge. Moves to a certain distance. For example, it moves a distance x like this. So what should I write? x equals R A E E charge of the electron force by mass of the electron into T1 square. I don't know whether I require it or not, but I'm just writing it. When, what I mean to say is as you keep uh, doing that, this, this should keep happening, this uh, mind process. Then a proton of mass MP also initially test takes T2 to move the through the equal distance in this uniform electric field. So if I put a proton here, here if I put it, it will move that way anyway. E should be think, thought of to be having like that or if i move it here it will go that way so what should i write for that one same x right yes sir so x equals half e e by charge of the proton is same as the charge of the electron mass of proton into t2 isn't it tell me yes sir so t1 square by t2 square or no t2 he's asking t2 by t1 
So T2 square by T1 square equals what? Mass of proton by mass of electron. Tell me. So T1 yes, equals root of mass of proton by mass of electron. Fair witness. All right. Yes, sir. The answer is there. Look, you, by tomorrow, you should start from the top. I'll only discuss your doubts there, not everything. But to begin with, I've just shown you how you really do your assignments and lesson and everything. If you respond, I'll give you even the best possible problems. But if you don't respond, God knows. Can I continue? Yes, sir. Wait, sir. Wait, sir. But Bharat and others, don't try to make some kind of a meaning for the problem itself. That problem has to be done at the same time the idea should be used somewhere you should learn something from it not just the steps sir completed sir right now we'll go for the next 90 90th hmm. A circular wire of ring, circular wire ring of radius R, the charge Q. The point charge Q is placed in the center of the ring, then the tension of the wire will increase by a very standard question. Let us not look at the things. The space is there enough here. Tell me how should I do this? How will I start this? Anybody? Yes, sir. Look, I have. So the point charge, since it's placed on the center, the electric field experienced by it is zero. By that, but the question is not that. This whole thing has a charge Q. Circular <coughs> wire ring. That means the metal ring I have got. This total charge is Q. Now I placed it here. The question is, the tension in the wire will increase by. So all this is once again, your understanding of forces from first year. Hmm. First of all, remember, when there's no plus Q at the middle also, there will be tension in the wire. Why? The positive charges repel. The oppositely positive charges repel each other. So the ring gets stretched like this. But at that moment, there's a balance. The electrostatic repulsion between the charges and the tension will balance out. Even now it will balance out, but there will be an extra tension developed once you place this plus Q in the middle because that will once again repel every other charge. That extra tension, if you call T, what will happen? I'll just show you here. Let me take an elemental thing here, which makes an angle theta at the center. This will be used in many other places. Remember. So what will happen now, you know? See, very small one, this is d theta. Very small, which I showed very big, try to understand. Tension will be tangential, extra tension I'm writing, not the original tension, the extra increased tension. Because anyway, initial tension we don't require. Initial tension is because of the repulsion between these charges. But now that extra tension is because of the repulsion between this and these charges. I don't know whether you're listening to me only. So if I have if I find the net force like this, yes, sir. there's a Q here, huh? there's a DQ there, small one. Hmm? 
gq chart this 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 have shown big but it's not big very small okay so this angle is d theta by 2 uh, this angle is d theta by 2 which means this angle is 90 minus d theta by 2 similarly this angle is also 90 minus d theta by 2 this q will repel dq that way that is k q into dq by r square and tension will pull it this way two components these two components will cancel out so these two components are t cos 90 minus d theta by 2 plus p 2t cos that should be equal to k q into dq by r square t cos 90 minus d theta by sin d theta by 2 so 2t sin d theta by 2 is equal to k q dq by r square but small angles sin d theta by is sin d theta by 2 is d theta by 2 so that will be d theta by 2 into 2 t d theta is equal to k q by r square dq d this is d theta this is dq children this is d theta so if i integrate i will get t into 2 pi is equal to k q by r square into q so if i bring it this side T that extra tension is k q q by 2 pi r square. K is 1 by 4 pi. Just look at your answer. Look at the answer. Is it there? Which one is the answer? This one, first one, right? Because 1 by 4 pi, if you write, this one will be the answer. Understood. You're only saying this all the time. I'm not getting anything from the other children. Understood, sir. So I'll continue then. Are you are you doing it? This this comes again and again. This T D theta business, like how I took a small element and how we cancel out the horizontal components, these components adding up to the repulsive force that way, the tension in a small part of the ring, TD theta comes every time in every kind of a problem later. Okay. So shall I continue children? Yes sir. Have you taken down the solution? Are you listening? Yes sir then so this you should be able to do we already have done it i need not have to tell you what to do huh i'll give you the opportunity 89 come on electric field formula we know for a ring like this half ring like this part ring like this okay so you should use the formula and get the answer just without doing much Eighty-nine children. You have a formula list with you? Do you? Huh? Yes, sir. No, if I have, just a minute. If I have one line charge like this with lambda and in terms of the angles 
theta naught and theta naught children what was the field strength here could you tell me look into the formula and tell me please look into your notes and tell me because i'll use that and get it fast here sir 2k lambda by by r sin theta naught right huh now from here theta. this is theta means theta naught is theta by 2 right huh Oh, yes, sir. Uh, so E will be at this point. Two k lambda by R sine theta by two. Children, huh? Yes, sir. And what is two k lambda here? Because you're given charge and radius, right? If this is theta, this length will be what? R theta. Isn't it R so? R theta. So two k lambda is what? Lambda is total charge by R, R theta into R theta. You get the total Q this into sine theta by two. So what do I get? Two K K K also gives K K Q by R square theta. Sin theta by two is my E. Force will be what? Sir, answer is B. Two K Q Q. Yeah. D what? What? The sin theta by D actually. B. Hmm? So, the option B, sir. Yeah. So it, it just reduces to finding out what E. Okay. Yes, sir. Hmm. Get to habit of doing and putting the answer, not guessing the answer. Okay. Uh. So how about others? Deva, Chitparashara, Abhinav. Can I continue? this just before in the previous class we did huh? charge in the wire is very simple it's not even electric field what do you say lambda equals Lambda equals what should I write? dQ by dL or dx, whatever. Isn't it? So dQ equals what? Lambda, lambda dL. dL. So Q equals what? Integral lambda dL. What is that? Lambda is what? Lambda zero. Fast theta. dL is what? If I take theta this side. This is d theta. This will be r r d d theta. So r d theta. Now I won't tell you the limits. Put the limits and get your value. Keep. Minimum thing you need to do is that. Theta is measured from this side, you see. Huh? So, what are the limits? So, zero to pi. Zero to pi. How can you say when half this as my reference? Zero to pi means where? So, minus pi by two is pi by two. That and check the answer. Huh? What children? Yeah. 
So what is the answer, Rishita? Sir, two lambda not r. Does everybody agree for that? I won't send you the key right now. I'll send you the key later, not solutions. After you worked out few questions from the top. See, there are how many questions we had? 90 something, 98 or anything. So I, in a, for one or two days, I'll come from back like this. You'll come from the top and let us meet somewhere. Then we'll finish it off. Sir, two or lambda not sir. Okay. Right. Then go to the next question. Come on. Not much I need to tell. Electric field on the line passing through point O. And perpendicular plane of the figure. Six charges are placed with the vertices of a regular hexagon as shown in the figure. The electric field on the line passing to the point O and perpendicular plane of the figure. That means somewhere here, above, not here. Do you follow? Not here. You understand where is it? Like that. At the top. Do you follow? Hello? Yes, sir. Mm, so, you need to do that. It's a simple question if you remember the dipole. If you remember the dipole, it's over. Look, x greater than greater than a. The regular hexagon is this will be a, this will be a. So this is a dipole, this is a dipole, this is a dipole. On the perpendicular bisector, it is towards minus q. Come on. So, for this dipole, which dipole, for this dipole, where is it? For this dipole, where is it? For this dipole, where is it? This dipole parallel to the axis here, towards this one. For this dipole, towards that one. Towards dipole, this one. There are three formulas. There are three formulas you need to apply. How? It is See, it is in the space, not here in the plane, the figure. This is this way. Direction. How much is it? On the perpendicular bisector, it is Kp by R cubed. That is X cubed. In this direction, Kp by X cubed. In this direction, Kp by X cubed. So this is how many? 120 degrees or what? So, sum of these two is Kp by x cubed, which is along this Kp by x cubed. So, 2 Kp by x cubed. Hmm. So, what do you write here? 2 into 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p, that is q into 2a by x cubed. Do you have any answer like that? You check. I don't know whether you understood or only. Do you? Hello, children. No, sir. Yes, sir. Perpendicular bisector, it is like this. Kp by r cubed. And parallel to this one. So, there are three dipoles. So, the answer is what? This one. Isn't it so? You're not speaking. Yes, sir. 
problem solving means what you should do i'll help you or at least when uh, i'm talking to you you should say yes sir no whether you followed or not actually i should not tell so much ah come on this is two dipoles for a dipole on the perpendicular bisect is towards minus means no sir you stop you'll do you should say and then you're actually on the right track ah huh? okay i came up to 87 today around 10 questions we did but from the top they are easy by tomorrow you should be at least finishing 30 questions from the top minimum 30 they're not difficult just give half an hour or 45 minutes for that only if i'm convinced that you did it sure. start otherwise i'll ask you to do here only i won't do anything okay all right for the present i'll close it and we shall meet tomorrow all right okay sir thank you sir thank you sir